What is going on, everybody? I hope you're all having a wonderful day. The obligatory hat has returned. Um, previous commenters from my year's videos, my months ago videos, said they didn't like the hat, but it's returned. It's one of my favorite hats, so I'm keeping it on me. And the main reason for making this video is because of that. Boom! Look at that. So, I will apologize in, in the beginning here because... Uh, I uh, kind of lost the, the footage, it, it, the video card corrupted and it basically broke. So my SD card basically broke. And I lost all the footage I did doing this, which really irritates me. So I have bought a new SD card, have alleviated the issue, and we've been good to go for about a month now. This has been on here for about, about a month. It's turned out really well. Um, this used to be silver. These both reds were silver. It was flat black down the center. I used the Rust-Oleum red for both. Um, it was an automotive grade paint, so they're automotive grade paint and Rust-Oleum automotive black. I will say, I think I might be switching to a high, high temp black because it is kind of hazing right there. But otherwise, it looks really nice, as you can see. Um, there's no clear coat on it. It's just polished and waxed. That's it. There's no uh, clear coat on it. I think it looks really awesome, especially... You know, with the gray car and everything, and it goes to that. That's pretty awesome. Another little update I did is I took the Plasti Dip off my chrome surrounds on my grills. Um, pulled the car out this morning. I was like, I don't know if I really like the look of it. Uh, that's why I did it in Plasti Dip first and not paint. Just to see if I like the blacked out look. And since I don't have anything else blacked out, like wheels or around, you know, around the, you know, the, around the trim, it's all bright aluminum chrome door handles, as you can see. It didn't really fit, and if I had like black, nice custom black wheels or more black accents on the car, I think I would have kept it. But as it sits, I didn't feel like it fit very well, so that's why I did in Plasti Dip. Came off, no harm, no foul. I will put the link in the description to the video. It's kind of an overview of how I did my uh, Plasti Dip job. Um, some people may like it. I liked it enough, but then I was like, it doesn't really fit with the car, in my personal opinion. But I know there's going to be some haters or some people that say, you have their own opinion on that, and that's okay, because that's the car culture. We all do what we want to our cars. Um, by the way, this is how this came. <laughs> I have not, I did not do that, so don't hate me on that, because that's how it came. I am trying to remove those, but I don't want to, like, leave an imprint. But anyway, you know, that was somebody else's, uh, that's somebody else's way of jazzing up their G8. <laughs> not mine. So, I'm just saying, we bought the car used, I bought it used, and, uh, it's uh that was the previous owner did that but anyway i just thought i'd make this little update video you know i really love the red i think the red's pretty awesome um especially the gray color actually red is actually my favorite color um red and grays are really awesome i think red gray and blue is my favorite color those are just they're awesome colors i love red and uh it looks so cool i couldn't find a red g8 got a gray one that was the second choice so yeah but red's pretty awesome. I think it turned out really good. Um, for not having any clear coat on it, it's super glossy, as you can see. Um, so I hope that kind of helps you guys decide if you want to do that TRG8 or not. But it's a, it's so, it's really fun to do, and it just takes you know a, a couple, you know, an hour or so out of your weekend or whatever, and it really spices up things underneath the, uh, the hood of this car. You know, you can do it in blue, pink, whatever you want to do. Just do something with your G8, and that's a great thing to do. Um, if you don't have the money to buy an intake or something like that, great, great option is that. Even the V6, the V6 G8s, their engine covers are really cool, especially when they're all painted up. So I'd say go ahead and do it because it's awesome. You know, it's really cool to pop your hood and then you got that. You know, everybody likes some sort of color. So uh, anyway, this is a short video. I'm going to try to shorten, keep it, you know, shorten it up here. And uh, Plasti Dip's gone. But not gone forever, I don't think. Probably if I do black wheels or something in the, in the future, I'll probably go back to a black grill. But for now, I'm keeping it as it is. So quite happy with how everything's turned out with the uh, engine bay cover. So yeah, anyway, I just want to say thank you guys for watching. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below, like the video, and check out the rest of my channel. We're at like 204 subscribers, I think. Um, I accidentally said this morning when I was talking on the phone, I was like 204,000. If only I could wish, but hey, we're getting there. So 204 subscribers is where we're at. Our goal is 1,000 subscribers, and we're working our way towards it because you guys are awesome. So yeah, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all sometime.
next week because oh yeah <laughs> before i go i won't be making videos for monday or wednesday they'll be back friday of next week i'm working on a few things so just expect that don't freak out there's tons there's tons of cool content on my channel so go check that out so yeah just to say that and thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all well next week sometime take it easy guys thanks for watching